All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Mashoku Tensai episode 17. I don't have anything to say for the start of this episode, but I'm just very much looking forward to it as always. Um, but yeah, as always, guys, like the video if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And let's go right into this episode right now. Oh shit, is this when they got teleported? At least they did get sent together then. Like he didn't have to go and find her or something. Where exactly did they get sent to, though? I'd like to see, like, a map of the world as to how far away they are from home and stuff. What is... Is this where they used to live? That's like a crater or something? God damn, Paul has been busy. Doing all this to help other people, but he still can't find his own family. Oh, if he didn't have his daughter here, he'd have fucking lost it a long time ago. Oh, so he works on Paul's team, does he? I believe he never knew that kind of Rudy was, you know, the son of Paul. Just looking at him, you must be able to tell somehow. It's true. They're, just, they're not just relying on the spurred, like... They're all, all three of them are strong. That's very true. If you've never been there, you can't really fully experience what it's like there. <laughs> a softy. Call him Paul, of all people, a softy is hilarious. Mm, that's true, actually. Yeah, that makes sense. It's nice that he, he's here to kind of explain this to him, because obviously Rudy has been through more than even we've realized, but Rudy's played it off and did so well. Maybe because he got to see you again. Oof. No, we can both. We can clearly see it from both sides. We can see it from Paul's point of view, and obviously we can also now see it from Rudy's point of view properly as well. They've both done wrong, I think, on the, on each of their sides, but it's what they need right now is each other. Very true. You've got what you got back is a healthy and happy Rudy. So you need to be happy about that. And then you can hope that the rest of your family is the same. Paul is really lucky that Rudy is okay now, now that I think about it. Give yourself a shave, get some sleep, maybe quit drinking for a while and go and reunite properly with your son. Who do you think he is? I think Paul's done exactly what I just told him to, which is give himself a shave and at least have a sleep. <laughs> Eris just bought out for a bit, okay? <laughs> Bartenders are always just like, just minding my business, you know? Cleaning this cup. He is a nice enough guy. I wouldn't get on his bad side, though. I wonder if Paul will notice about Rudy's eye. Don't believe him when he says that, Paul. You know what he's trying to do. Oh, damn. Well, it's good that Eris is not here to hear that. Oh. Oh. Be there for your dad and let your dad be there for you, bro. What, his own face from his past life? But he never came by again. Yeah. Damn, yeah. So, Paul had... Paul had Rudy when he was 19, also. Wow. Give your dad a hug. <laughs> oh, Rudy. Oh, this could have been so much worse, Paul. You just need to be happy that he's back. Oh, this is so nice. Oh, Paul. Rudy, you have a little cry too. You deserve it. 
Paul, you've got two out of three of your kids. You need to go and find your baby mama. You need to go and find your wife. Or all hope is not lost, my friend. <laughs> oh, these two. Same as usual. What the hell happened to Eris? Oh my god, Rory Church, you didn't need to go that far, bro. Yeah, but yesterday was yesterday, Eris. <laughs> I can't believe he decked Eris, oh my god. Hey, let's go. That's awesome. Oh shit, so he has does have to say, yeah. What was the what was the Gramps name of Eris, the one that was beheaded? I miss Ghislaine. Where is Ghislaine? Oh, I'm proud of Eris. Really grown up about this. Oh, both of you keep going. You'll reunite again one day. Well, I'll speak to your little sister as well. Come on, dude. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like uh, kids know no fear. Kids don't hate. They can't hate this race because they don't know they're supposed to be scary. You know, it's just it, that's nice to say. Oh, <laughs> that's nice. Back to the mission. Let's go. Why does she have to be so half naked? Does she not want to wear anything more? Alright, so that was Mashoku Tensai episode 17. Uh, I'm really glad they made up and it's so nice to see Paul Rudy the same as they always were again. Um, both off on their way on their own kind of respective missions now. Um, even if it was for such a short time, it's glad I'm just glad that they've made up and they are as they are again. Um, but yeah, really nice episode. Obviously, everybody is kind of back on track. Um, it was nice to see that Rudy got to see not just Paul, but his little sister. You know, they kind of... Everything's okay now in terms of kind of Eris', er Eris Eris's feelings towards Paul as well. Um, it's unlucky to find out that kind of the homelands are kind of gone, as Paul mentioned. But Eris has seemed to... She seemed to have kind of accepted that this may be the case already, which is really good. Um, obviously acting very grown up about it and uh, yeah so now we are continuing on our journey back home or to wherever it may be and then after that be looking for the rest of our family so it's nice to see that Rudy now has someone else he can think about uh, not just kind of you know his current situation and Paul kind of has some comfort knowing that if his son's alive I'm sure everybody else could be as well but yeah uh that's all I really have to say, and that's that. And anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did, and I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day, and peace out.